Welcome back. My word today has to do with something that can be uh, interpreted in multiple connotations, at least two connotations. Watering of the eyes. When you have water in your eyes, it could be because something is irritating your eyes or it could be because you are emotional. So when you are emotional, that is when it's called tears. So the word related to tears, but in two different ways. First possibility or first meaning of the word. Uh, for someone who is given to getting emotional very quickly and this is not just getting emotional, this is about getting teary. A person who can cry at a jerk, at a poke, a cry apparently in scenarios where you don't expect that person to cry. That kind of a person. Second meaning, anything that causes tears. Now it could be something emotional, as I said. It could be something that irritates your eyes, for example, peeling onions or if there is a smoke that causes uh, tears in your eyes. So whatever the case, one, a person uh, who is given to getting tears in his or her eyes very easily, a person who is prone to crying apparently. Second, anything that causes tears in the eyes, for both the cases, we have the same word lacrimose comes from the latin term lacrimal which relates to the tear glands those small bags that you have inside your ears which are stimulated when the brain decides that there is something to be emotional about or there is that you should cry and when those bags are stimulated your eyes are full with tears so anything that causes tears someone who is prone to crying both the cases same word lacrimose